forecast is looking and it's going to be what cool and dry, right? It'll be cool but sunny and the winds won't have quite as much bite to them today. Lighter wind for us as we look at our future cast over Oakland Beach this morning. Bright sunshine on this St. Patrick's Day morning and our threat tracker appropriately in the green. A low risk for any severe weather today, tonight and even into Saturday daytime. Things change Saturday night. We are tracking some precipitation, mostly snow that will extend into Sunday. I do have some small accumulations in the forecast, but as the day goes on Sunday, it's going to be tougher and tougher for that to actually stick to uh, the roadways. So we are looking at possibly again some impacts for Friday, uh, Sunday's early morning travels, but I'm not at this point looking at a blockbuster storm temperatures outside this morning. Well, we're trying to get out of the 20s. We've hit 30 in Westerly 31 out on the Block Island. New Bedford's at 29 Providence in the upper 20s. It still feels like the teens a winter coat hat and gloves a good idea for the bus stop as you travel up your interstates today. You'll also need your sunglasses to deal with that bright sunshine. So high pressures in control over the eastern United States. Now that quickly slides to the east and allows this system, which is cutting across the Great Lakes bringing a variety of precipitation types to areas from uh, Chicago and um, Milwaukee eastward into the Ohio Valley. For us, it's going to redevelop off the coastline and try to bring us a little bit of snow for Saturday night into Sunday. Here's the future cast time it all out for you. Five o'clock this evening. No weather related issues into the nighttime hours tonight, holding on to the clear skies and we wake up to some sunshine on Saturday morning. Clouds end up winning out though. Any precipitation that falls before sunset on Saturday, very light. I'm thinking sprinkle or flurry. But as we move towards uh, the later part of Saturday evening and Saturday night, here comes that precipitation overspreading our area. This is Sunday morning at 8 a.m. So you can see uh, snow trying to make it up over much of Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts and Connecticut. Watching that rain snow line depending on the track how far to the north or west that may get there's still you know, several options for the storm track one would be further away with very little impact for us the other would be closer to us which could up the amount of precipitation that we see but not necessarily how much accumulating snow so this is an early call for saturday night and sunday i'm looking at possibly one to as much as three inches of snow best chance for those higher totals and maybe even higher than three inches is out over Cape Cod. So this afternoon we're dry and still cooler than normal. 50 is our normal high. We're going to be lucky to hit 40. Now, afternoon temperatures in Johnston, East Providence and West Warwick in the middle 30s. 37 in Bristol, Fall River, New Bedford, you're dry, cold and sunny. If you're out this evening, you want your warm coat. Temperatures dropping from the 30s back into the 20s. Here's the seven day future cast. So 39 degrees for tomorrow. Sunny start increasing clouds in the afternoon. Sunday starts off with some snow. I think after 10 11 o'clock in the morning, it'd be very tough for that to stick to the roadways as the temperatures climb up above freezing. Mostly cloudy skies trying to dry out at the end of the day. Could see a rain or snow shower mixing in in the afternoon. First day of spring on Monday, we're at least in the 40s. Tuesday, some computer models have us close to 50 degrees before an Arctic front comes in here. Not much precipitation with